Hey guys, I've made an update for my Seto Corso server manager. It is now a 2.0 update where I've done a complete graphical overhaul and changed a bunch of settings so it could be backwards compatible and forward compatible. So just click the download link here and you'll download a raw file. Open up that raw file once it finishes downloading and extract the files into a folder on your desktop, let's say, wherever you want to put it. Then all you're going to need to do is open up the server manager launcher.exe or you could open up the launcher.jar but the exe will make it so that the program searches if you have java and if you don't have the java jdk19 it will go and use the local one that's provided with it just like the previous server manager you'll be able to create a server using this by a couple of steps so first go to file then create a server find the folder that you want to create the server in so it could be your desktop and then once you name it it would be a folder on your desktop so just name your folder what you want your server name to be and then from there it will ask you for a zip file this zip file is your packed server data from content manager once you open this it will extract the files into the server folder the server files nor the pack data has an extras file which is why we load the server first to just make sure that we get the extras file and then we load all the data into the allotted areas. I finally updated the auto install, but first we should go to track and CSP. There's going to be an invalid path because within the folder that we just made, there's no content or tracks folder. So we're going to need to add those folders and then add the track folder that we want. If content manager did this for you, that means you packed the data without CSP enabled, so it would have given it to you. If sometimes you pack the data and it doesn't give this to you, you're going to need to copy and paste the folders into the correct places, and then the server will recognize that it's in the correct area. But if you pack the server with CSP enabled, you'll have to make the CSP folder. Otherwise, you can go into here and change the track to CSP, and it'll automatically do it. You can also update the CSP ID by pressing the button. And you can also open these folders if uh, the actual files are there and loaded. And if they're not, you can open the folder and drop the files in. Moving on to auto install, you can now reset. You could auto populate the entire list with your cars from the entry list and auto populate the track that you currently have. You could also choose which cars you want to individually update for the URL or the version. But if you leave the version blank, it can be any version. Just put usually the URL and press save. And that will automatically update the auto install list with the data that you put. You can do the same thing with the track. Just remember to specify the track with the drop down menu and save track and it'll be there. So you could also automatically pack your server cards, but first you have to pick your root folder. You only need to do this once and it'll save so that if you reload the program, it'll still be there. So all you really need to do is just pick a zip out put folder that you want to be constant or you can change that. But find your set of root folder, pick that, then pick your output folder and you'll be able to select different cars from this drop down menu to zip. It'll give a progress bar and once that progress bar is completed, the zipped car will be in the output folder that we specified. We could also do the same thing for creating a traffic car pack or a driver car pack, whichever one you want. It'll give you an option to name your car pack and once you finish doing that, it will start to zip all the files. It works by going into your Seto folder, going into content, going into cars, searching your entry list, pulling all the cars and zipping them, then combining them into one folder. So while this is going on, I'll show you different functions as well. The entry list is still relatively the same. You can remove, add cars. You could make cars drivable or make cars traffic. You could also duplicate cars and remove cars. I've also added a duplicate cars list so you can see how many duplicates of each car you have. To the entry list, I've updated the validate DLC and enables plugin to automatically be enabled or disabled on the click. And if you want to enable them, you don't need to add a dash, it'll automatically format. Same thing with the server description, just leave two quotation marks if you want to leave it blank. If you do want to format it, there's a button to learn how to. 
when you start the server it'll start but it'll give you a missing car checksum because you don't have it so i've implemented a system that automatically has that enabled so you won't get that error there are certain settings that you can enable that won't save because you don't have the right version of the settle server if you do create a server you'll get the the most recent version but if you already have one if you're going to load your server settings it will work fine just be aware that those settings won't save because you don't have those settings available to you in our server config main tab we can change most of the server settings and we can also start the server we can start the server by pressing this button twice the first time is to verify it the second time it actually runs in order to stop the server, just press stop the server. And once the color change happens on the button, that indicates that the server has stopped. In the extras config, I forgot to mention, I also kept the presets. So you can save all these settings and then name it and it will be able to be accessed later. You could load it if you're trying out different settings. It's very helpful. When a car pack is done, it'll give you an option to open folder so you could find the folder. And it's also formatted so it has all the folders and not the zip files so that content manager can actually read it. Now that that's loaded, I'm going to load in a server that already has a CSP document. This document could vary between person to person. This one has all the settings that can be enabled, disabled, and changed within the file. I've also kept the ability to change, manage, teleports. So it's pretty easy to add them and also you can add portals so portals allow you to jump from one server to another as long as you have the same entry list so you can enable that by adding in this format and these are the rgb colors and the last one is transparency and once you add it it will be added into the list and on the server you'll be able to see if you want to find out how to add portals watch my previous video the card should be up right now if you want to support me, you can visit my Patreon, which is right here. And if you want to utilize my service to lock a car to a server, you could hit me up on Discord. My contact information is in the description.